dear students in coming section we are going to learn how to calculate acceleration of the lowest point of a body rolling on flat surface we will learn this application through one selected illustration so let us move to illustration part in this illustration it is given find the acceleration of the lowest point p of the disc rolling without sliding with velocity v and acceleration a of center capital c you can observe this disc having radius small r it is moving with acceleration constant acceleration a and velocity at the time of observation is small v why velocity at the time of observation because velocity of the center will keep on increasing so we need to find the acceleration of point p that is net acceleration of point p with respect to ground so let us make the diagram to the next page we can write the vector equation of point p that is the vector equation of acceleration of point p that is acceleration of p with respect to c plus acceleration of c this acceleration of p with respect to c means acceleration of this lowest point with respect to center of the disc and this ac represent the acceleration of the center of the disc that is the linear acceleration of center of the disc let us assign our directions rightward direction is positive x upward direction is y and direction perpendicular to the screen is z direction and toward you right that is perpendicular to the screen and toward you is the positive z direction so here we can write acceleration of point c that is the center of the disc ac should be equal to a i cap because a is in the direction the positive x so in unit vector notation we can write this acceleration as a i cap now again consider the motion of the disc it is given disc is rolling rolling means point p is not sliding if point p is not sliding that means the rotation sense of the disc with respect to c should be clockwise sense that means angular velocity of the disc should be in the clockwise sense and we know this center is accelerating that means v is increasing with the time that means omega should also increase with the time because this is rolling for increasing the omega value that means the angular acceleration of the disc should same sense as omega so this should be the direction of the alpha alpha is the angular acceleration of the disc about c okay now consider from frame of reference of the disc suppose you are observing from center of the disc from center of the disc we can observe the motion of the disc as a rotation motion circular motion you can say most appropriate and this circular motion is the non uniform circular motion if it is non uniform circular motion it should have the radial acceleration as well as tangential acceleration and we know radial acceleration is toward the center like this this is the radial acceleration and we know the magnitude of the radial acceleration is omega square multiplied by r and we know the direction is parallel to the positive y direction so in the unit vector notation we can write acceleration of p with respect to c in the radial direction as omega square r j cap so let us write this radial acceleration now come to the tangential acceleration we know tangential acceleration has the magnitude alpha multiplied by r alpha is the angular acceleration and r is the radius and it is rotating like this in the clockwise sense that means direction of the tangential acceleration should be like this and we can observe this is opposite to the positive x direction so unit vector involved this alpha r should be minus i cap so this is minus i cap alpha r minus i cap and we know this disc is rolling on the fixed surface and constant for the rolling motion is v equal to omega r v is the velocity of the center of mass of the disc and omega is the angular velocity so this constraint motion equation for rolling should be v equal to omega r in similar fashion we can write acceleration equation for the rolling that is a equal to alpha r a is the linear acceleration of the center of mass and alpha is the angular acceleration of the disc okay now let us substitute the value let us write the value of acceleration of p with respect to c we should write this component as well as this component okay so let us write the value of this one 
that is the acceleration of t with respect to c like this. Now we can write i with the i cap and j separately. So, this equation will become a minus alpha r i cap plus omega a square r j cap and we know a equal to alpha r this equation that means this term will get cancelled that will be 0 and we know this omega is equal to v divided by r and if we substitute the value of omega here this equation will become v square divided by r j cap that means we can write acceleration of p that is the lowest point as v square divided by r j cap this represent the acceleration of the lowest point okay Dear aspirants, Sangez India has launched the new edition of our J Advanced Physics books. Please visit www.sangez.co.in to buy a copy. You can also buy the books from Amazon or Flipkart.